Well, we, we think that, that um, studying people that live um, a way where they have very few traditional coronary risk factors will give us insights. If they have coronary heart disease, why would it be? Or if they have none, then perhaps what are the major think, messages that we can deduce from why they're healthy? And so what we said was, why don't we go do some coronary calcium scores, cardio scans on these people that live remotely that are as close to hunter gatherers as we can get. And that's kind of what we did. So we traveled to Bolivia. Uh, there's an existing anthropology project called the Chimane Life History Project where anthropologists have been working with and helping these people with health care for many years. So the Chimane tribe is a group of people living in uh, remote Bolivia. They're native uh, South Americans and they live a lifestyle that's uh, we think a lot like our genetic ancestors. Their physical activity generates 98 percent of their calories. Uh, they're always moving. Uh, they eat food they grow in small horticultural plots. They do hunt and fish. Um, they get a little bit of supplies from the store, but it's less than 2% of calories. So they're, they're becoming more acculturated, but their environment should be very close to what most of our uh, genetic ancestors were. And that's why we wanted to study them. What we found is they had the lowest levels of coronary calcium of any population ever studied. And we attribute this uh, good arterial health to their lifestyle. They exercise a lot, they have low cholesterols, low body fat, very low rates of diabetes and hypertension and so forth. Their arteries are about 28 years younger than arteries of Westerners based on the coronary calcium numbers. So if we could improve people's health to that extent, really reducing the, slowing the aging process by 25 or 30 years obviously the savings would be enormous and the improvement to our health would be enormous. Well, they, they um, were happy to cooperate, but they did wonder why we're studying a disease they don't have. <laughs> so, so.